Let me take these AirPods out of my ear because I've noticed that a lot of people have been commenting I shouldn't have AirPods in while making videos. So let me take my AirPods out. That's one thing I do keep on me all the time though. AirPods are vital to me. Let's be honest, I've been trying to make this video for so long. Why have I not done it yet? Because I'm a creative and I overthink. I thought I could wait until I had the perfect setup and everything perfect in my bag to make this video, but I realized I will never have the perfect setup ever because I'm creative, I'm anxious, I think a lot, I overthink, and I just, it's always gonna be changing. But there are some vital things that I keep in my camera bag and I do have and I've had for a while, so let's talk about it. All right, so the camera bag that I use is the Eve case. I don't know the exact model, but I can look it up and there will be links to every single thing that I have in my camera bag and my gear closet down below. This is an Eve case bag and I really enjoy this bag. Why? First of all, let's talk about the camera that I have. I have a Canon 1DX Mark II. That's my everyday camera. I do photos with it. I do videos with it. I've shot music videos with it. I shoot vlogs with it. I shoot these YouTube videos with it. I'm shooting with it right now, actually. Now, if you know anything about the Canon 1DX Mark II, it is a huge camera it's tall as heck so a camera bag like this works perfect because it is deep I can fit my camera down in it and I can zip it up and everything will fit perfect so that is one reason why I have this camera bag another reason is because it's all black I love all black I love sleek black black t-shirts whatever the case may be I love black I love the fact that it's all sleek black let's talk about a lens that I keep in my backpack a 24 millimeter Sigma art 1.4 that is one of my favorite lenses of all time I'm actually shooting this video right now on it yes now you know the setup that I use for my YouTube videos. A 1DX Mark II and a Sigma Art 24mm 1.4. Now, what do I love about my Sigma Art 24? I take tons of photos with it. It's wide enough, it's not too close, it's not too wide, it's perfect, it doesn't distort that much at the edges. I really love this lens. I can do video on it, I can shoot vlogs on it, I can shoot photos on it, grand photos at that so I can get a lot in it. I really, really love this lens. So now I know like half my body's cut off, the way this is like angled is weird so you can only see like the top of my head, it's funny. Let's get into my camera bag. <laughs> Flip it open. Let's talk about what we got in here. Let's start off with lenses. I told you 24 millimeter, that's my favorite lens. Next up is a 35 millimeter Sigma Art lens. This is a great lens as well. I use this lens for music videos. I like to get B-roll with this lens. I like to get close-up kind of portrait-y style photos with this lens. This lens is amazing. It's a little bit more punched in than a 24 and I use it for certain things. Like I said, closer up photos, closer B-roll, more cinematic looking shots and video. I really, really adore this lens. Next lens is a Canon 100mm macro. Now, what I do with this lens, I get a lot of close-up shots of objects. This Canon 100mm macro, like I said, macro, it gets a lot of detail. So if you're getting close-up shots on products or people's faces, it is an amazing lens. I love to get long-range shots with it, detailed shots, all that stuff. So that's why I keep this lens with me all the time. I like my 24, my 35 is a little more punched in, my 100mm macro is a long-range or a close-up shot. Really love this lens. So last but not least, the last lens that I own is a Canon 17 to 40 millimeter f4. It's a zoom lens. I really use this for vlogging a lot. I use this for super, super wide photos. This lens comes in handy for a lot of different things. It's kind of cheaper. It's a uh, lightweight for one. So this paired with the 1DX Mark II is a lighter weight than a Sigma 24 on the 1DX. So it kind of saves my arm and it saves my wrist a little bit because sometimes I get like wrist pains when I'm holding that 1DX up and a big heavy lens on it. So this is a lighter lens. Like I said, wide angle. I can zoom in fast from a 17 to the 40 millimeter to get some close up shots. If I'm vlogging or if I'm just trying to take some quick photos, like if I'm traveling or something, this is a great lens to just run around, run and gun with, with vlogs and photos, etc. My 24 millimeter, my 35 millimeter, they're more like staged scenarios. If I know that I'm going somewhere strictly just to take pictures or if I'm going somewhere strictly to get low light video, this one's not going to work that great for low light situations because it's an F4. My Sigmas are 1.4 so I can drop down really, really low and get some great depth of field and great low light video or photo. Cool. So those are the lenses that I have. I have four lenses I own in my bag. Also in the bag, I have these step up rings. I'm going to talk about what these can do for your filters. Let's talk about what filters I have. Boom, got some filters in the bag. At the top, I have a variable ND filter. This filter is really good for when it's bright outside. If it's too bright outside and I don't want to jack all my settings up on my camera, then I can throw this on and they're basically like sunglasses to the camera and I can keep my settings lower and get a more exposed shot without having to boost my shutter speed or my aperture up. I can get more depth of field and certain things like that. I also have this Tiffin Black Pro Mist and that is at a what? Uh, one fourth. Basically what this does is it blooms the highlights. So if I want something to look kind of dreamy and bloom my highlights out, this is a 
perfect filter for that. The reason that I have these step up rings, I got these filters in the highest size I can so that they fit on top of the biggest step up ring possible and I can attach them to smaller lenses or bigger lenses, it doesn't matter. This fits on all different types of threads for lenses. So if I got like a 50 millimeter Canon 1.8, that's obviously small, I can fit this little guy on there. Or if I'm going to something a little bigger, I can just screw off and find the right thread and attach it to that lens. Step up rings are vital, get these and then get the biggest filter. That way you don't have to buy filters for every single lens you have. Cool, we got the filters out the way. Boom, boom. I keep a Mavic Air. I keep a Mavic Air on me. I keep the black one, I like black. I told you guys about that, I like the color black. Also got the remote control in here. It all fits into the side pocket, boom, just like that. Fits right there. I can take it wherever I want. I love the fact that I can have my camera, my lenses, and my drone all in this bag. DJI Mavic Air is great. It's great with compact. It's great with quality. If you need to get some quick drone shots, I personally am not shooting movies, so I don't need the best of quality for drone shots. I don't need like the upper Inspires or anything like that. I just like the fact that this guy's so small and it fits right in my bag, and I can get some great quality shots with it. Let's see what else I got in here. Good Lord, but it's like a pocket, so I fit a lot of stuff into this little pocket. We'll talk about the other like cord electronic bags that I have to keep cords, that's in here, so. All right, so first of all, in the pocket in the front, I keep some little jewels. I keep some magnifying jewels, and these for music videos to throw in front of my lenses. Preferably like a 35 millimeter and up and with a lower aperture, so a 50 Canon 1.8 or a 35 1.4. If you throw these in front of the lens, you'll get some cool effects. So I keep these right in this pocket, just in case I wanna get some stylistic shots shots. Lens cap. I don't know where I found this lens cap. This doesn't fit any of my lenses. It ended up in my bag. I don't even know why that's in there. Next up, I got some Polar Pro filters, uh, polarizers and ND filters for my DJI Mavic Air. And again, these are like sunglasses if it's too bright outside or if I'm trying to block reflections on like water or buildings or I don't know, any type of reflections, the PL, the polarizer, they will knock that out of the shot, make it just a little bit better. Cool. Another thing that I keep in my bag is a Aperture M9 light. This little guy comes in handy if I need a little light in a low light situation, if I'm trying to get like a shot or a photo or if I'm shooting a quick run and gun music video and I need some type of small light to be on hand, this guy works perfect. Really love how much light this little thing can put out and it has a clamp where you can put it into the hot shoe on your camera if you wanna shoot directly at somebody. Really convenient small light and it's just well built and it's just reliable. So keep this on me all the time. Boom. Last but not least in that front pocket, I keep this cord. <laughs> and this cord goes to the Case Air. Now, I have a Canon 1DX Mark II and unfortunately, Wi-Fi is not built into this camera. I know it's an expensive camera and it should be built in, but this camera is actually weatherproof. So with the weatherproof sealant on the camera, it makes it hard for somebody to build in a wireless connector. So I bought this for maybe 150 bucks. This little guy attaches on a hot shoe to the top or you can leave it dangling, whatever the case may be, and it actually connects next to your phone and you can get your photos and video or shoot live video mode or shoot live photo mode from a distance with your camera through the app. Really convenient for any 1DX Mark II users. When I found this, I was like, I gotta get it and see if it works. It worked perfect, I love this. So if I'm on the go, I don't have a laptop, I don't keep a laptop, I have an iMac 27 inch Pro, an iMac Pro 27 inch that I keep at home that I edit on because a lot of the footage that I shoot and stuff, I shoot at a high caliber, you know, big files with Canon obviously. So I like to do my stuff on a desktop at home because just a laptop just I don't I don't feel like waiting plus the screens too small yeah this is perfect to transfer files over to your phone edit them get them off up on social media or whatever you're trying to do if you're doing some quick IG stories or stuff like that so that's why I have this I love this thing Wi-Fi with the 1DX is beautiful with this links down below all right let's put this away and let's get to the top of the bag so now we know what's up inside of this big old hoss Hoss, who came up with that word? I think I got that from like some of my country family back at home. Again, this bag is dope. Check this out. So on the side here, before we get into the top, we're gonna talk about on the side, they have these straps right here. Now, if I wanna take a tripod with me, I can strap it on here. So I also own the DJI, so let's make sure I say DJI, because when I say DJI, it sounds like DGI, DJI, D DJI Ronin S, and I keep that strapped in on the side when I need it. Now, why do I have the DJI Ronin S? I love that thing, that thing is a beast. I keep it on me just in case I'm shooting professional video and I need like some cool stabilized shots. Half the time my 1DX Mark II does good 
good because it's heavy and 120 frames per second, I can go handheld and get some smooth, quick shots because we're only doing about two to three seconds of a clip and an edit. When I'm splicing like B-roll all together behind music, you're only using a quick second of that and half the time handheld works. But if it's not and I need longer range shots, I use my DJI Ronin S. That is an amazing piece of equipment, amazing tool that I like to use on certain scenarios and music videos if I'm doing like run and gun, whatever the case may be. So these little straps on the side are really convenient. Um, on this side, you have like a little dangly thing, which I keep my camera bag raincoat on. Really dope. And there's also a pocket right here. I don't typically keep too much in here. Maybe like a water bottle or something. Maybe like a Fiji or something I could fit in here. And then, you know, if I need water on the side, whatever. But what I do keep in here right now are business cards. Right on the side, I keep business cards just stuck in there just in case I meet somebody real quick. I need to throw them a business card or whatever the case may be so they can follow me. Something quick. Half the time I just tell people follow me on Instagram. Business cards aren't the most necessary thing. But if you're looking to promo and build more uh, following on social media, if you buy business cards, it's easy. You can just give these out to anybody and hopefully you'll gain subscribers or followers. So I always keep business cards on me. I'll pass them out to anybody. If you pass out 50 business cards per day, that's 50 50 opportunities per day to get a new subscriber or follower. So I look at it like that. And how many is that in a year? Think about if you hand out 50 a day for 365 days. We got, what's the math on that? I don't even know. I'm gonna put it right here on the screen, but that's a lot of opportunities to build new followers or new fans of your work or new clients or new subscribers on YouTube. Business cards are actually kind of important. So I'm gonna just keep these back in here, man. I also keep a cloth, a lens cloth in there too, just so I can wipe down my lens real quick, boom, right on the side, real convenient and easy to use. Let's talk about what's inside of the top of my bag. So really cool design. It's got like a round and zipper comes out and this bag also comes with a handy little case. I don't know. It's like, it's cool. Look, let's move this. Ugh. Let's talk about this little guy. This is dope. So inside of here, I keep a lot of different things. I keep my cords. I keep like my little lens blower in case I need to blow like dust or whatever out. Let's just open it up. Boom, boom. I keep my charger to my 1DX in here. Super big charger. Fits the cord and the charge on top. Also keep this. Feels good if it's hot, it's kind of hot in here. I had to cut the AC off because it's loud in here. Ugh. Also keep some of these. I keep some zip ties just in case I'm on set and I need to zip tie a light to something or zip tie a cord or anything, man. Zip ties are super important, man. You should have these. Definitely look into getting you some of these and keeping them on you for just different scenarios. If I'm shooting a music video and I'm using like quasar lights, I like to zip tie them to C-stands. I don't have to use tape, sticky tape and get it all over, whatever. Ah, gaffer's tape is cool. I do keep gaffer's tape. I'll talk about that because that's in my gear closet. But zip ties are very important. Keep them on you. Very useful. Last but not least, I keep a electronic cord bag in the bottom of here. That's all that comes in here. Again, this is a cool little case. It comes with the camera bag in the top part of it. Very dope, convenient to come with the bag. I think this is super dope. Smart idea, Eve case. Now, what I keep in here, electronics and tools. This is like, I'll link these down below too. These are some cool bags. If you get them off Amazon, it comes with a big one, a medium one, and a small one. This is the big one. Um, inside of here, I keep all my cords, chargers, uh, my DJI Mavic Air charger, um, a couple other cool cords cords, the DJI Ronin S uh, charger, keep that in here. Um, I keep a small little screwdriver in case I need to like do something with that. I keep some Allen wrenches, Allen wrenches, Island wrenches, Allen wrench. I don't know exactly. I don't even know if they're Island or Allen, whatever. They come in handy for certain things. A few more cords to different things. Kind of it's messy when you open this bag up, but it works. I just keep it all in there. It's sealed tight so I don't lose anything. Also, another lens cloth. Can't go wrong with another one. Probably should keep like two or three on you just so you can keep your lenses clean. I'm going to zip this back up. This is uh, getting out of hand. But that's what I keep in the top of my bag. I keep the electronic cord case with cords in it. I keep my charger for the 1DX. I keep the cord for the charger in there. I keep my zip ties in here and found it. Keep that in there. Boom, squish it all in, zip it all up. And you got it back. Now I'll throw it back in the camera bag. So those are kind of some of the things that I keep in my bag. I really love this bag. I've had two of them. Um, they actually sent me some bags to actually check out and see if I like them. I never got a chance to review them, but now was the perfect opportunity. I really love this bag. It's my favorite bag, honestly. I've tried so many different camera bags because I think camera people, camera people, photographers, videographers, any of us creatives, we are always searching for different bags all the time to fit everything we have in the perfect way. Well, some of us, I guess, uh, especially the ones that are OCD 
OCD. That's me. I'm very OCD. I like things organized and very neat. I don't like stuff just all over the place in my camera bag. It's very important that I have it organized so I know where to go and grab it quickly. So, love this camera bag. Let's talk about what's in my gear closet. Let's see if I can set the camera up over there and let's talk about it. All right, guys. So, here is my gear closet. Very small, very intimate. First off, let's start with saying that I do have a shelving unit in here. It's very small. It has four different layers. I got it from Lowe's. You can actually pick up some from Amazon. It all depends on the size of your gear closet or your gear space, what size you would want to get. I personally have a smaller one just to throw a few things on it and I'm going to talk about what's in here right now. First of all, I have a huge C stand in here. So if you're not familiar with what a C stand is, it's actually like a stand that you can put a light on, you can hang things from. It has an arm that goes up top and extends out. So if you're trying to get like a shot, maybe a POV shot straight down, you could mount your camera to the end of the arm that sticks out. Um, if you're trying to light up a scene, but you don't want a light stand in it, you can put a light on it, bring the arm out, put it off to the side, bring it over top of your subject, whatever the case may be. C stand is very, very important. That's why I bought one to have. I keep it folded up right here in the closet. I'm not going to take it out because it's just like a hassle right now, but yeah, it's right here in the corner, leaning to the side. I also have some cheap uh, gels. I guess you'd call this like cheap gel paper. So I got this from Michaels and uh, you can actually just boom, slap it over lights. Uh, it's not working right there, but if you throw it over any light, the more times that you fold it over, you can get like the pink or red effect. They also have different colors. This was just some extra from a video shoot that I did and I just keep it in here just in case I need it. So I also have this, the Dica or Dica. I'm not sure of the name. Sorry guys if I pronounced it wrong, but I'm going to say Dica pack. I just throw my Canon into here and scroll it up. It's an underwater bag. So I take it to the beach with me, the pool with me, if I'm trying to get some shots for a vlog or a photo shoot or I don't know, whatever the case may be dealing with water or going underwater, I can throw my camera in here. Works really good. It's very cheap. It's like 50, 60 bucks on Amazon. Obviously I said all the links to everything are down below. So you can go check it out if you're interested in it. Works really good. Definitely a cheap alternative to like the big water, underwater domes. Those are like thousands of bucks. This is like 60. Let's talk about what else I keep in here on the shelf. On top, I got a few props. I got some haze in a can. Great for like scenarios where there's no fog machine or you can't plug up a fog machine. If I'm out in the woods and I'm trying to do like a little photo shoot or a little video scene, I can just... I'm not gonna spray it right now, but you could just spray it around. If there's sunbeams, it'll go through. It looks like haze or fog. But also keep gaffer's tape, very important. This is the type of tape that works similar to duct tape on a film set, but it doesn't leave residue and a bunch of stuff all over the place. That's why it's meant for film production. That's why it's called gaffer's tape. Well, I don't know if that's why it's called gaffer's tape, but it's for film production and it's called gaffer's tape. Um, also got some silly string. I'm not sure if you guys saw the uh, giveaway video I did. Um, shot some at the lens, super cool. I just kept them um, in case I need them for a music video or something. Um, on the second shelf down, I have a shoulder rig. And I haven't been using this shoulder rig because I don't have a base plate for my 1DX Mark II. I'm actually interested in using a different camera on here. I used to use my GH5 on here. I had it mounted on and I would use the shoulder rig for that. It would work for any camera, really. You just gotta find a base plate or a uh, camera cage for it. Me personally, I was thinking about getting a Sony a7 III for my music videos just to have something smaller and uh, shoot 4K at a lighter uh, Kodak than the 1DX Mark II and 4K. I was thinking about getting that, so I would need to get a cage and a base plate for it. So I haven't been using this lately, but I really want to get back to using this. I keep this folded up on my second shelf down. Also, I keep one of these ball head mount arm thingy. You can mount it to like anything that has a thread on it and then mount like a monitor or anything to the other side that has a thread. This works really good for certain scenarios. Third shelf down. Let's, let me, I got to grab this. Ugh. Woo. This is a fish tank. I bought this in Key West when I was at the beach to get underwater shots. So I would drop my camera down in here, push record obviously, and then dip it in the water to get underwater shots or right at the horizon of the water so you can see under the water and above the water. Really useful. Um, be careful when you're using it that you don't spill any water in it. It works great. Now what's inside of here is just a bunch of extra stuff. Extension cords for music video sets, uh, lens caps, lens hoods, DJI cords, chargers, hard drives. I keep a couple hard drives that are like full in here and I also have some um, gels. These are some cheap gels that I got off of Amazon. They work great for certain scenarios and certain lights. I keep my V-Lock batteries in here for when I need to take those out to use on my light. Matter of fact, let's talk about the light that I keep stored in here or use it when I'm filming. We're actually using it right now. 
that is a heavy fish tank with all that stuff in it. So what light do I keep? I keep a Aperture 120D Mark II. That's what I'm actually filming with right here. Amazing light. I use that light for every single project that I do almost. I use it as a key light. I use it as a space light. I use it multiple spotlight, all different types of things. So I actually have that on a regular light stand right here with the mini dome on it. I also have the big dome. It also comes with a carrying case. It's actually over there. I'm not going to go get it because I'm kind of trapped in with all this gear around me, but it comes with a, an amazing case. That light's perfect, man. If I could recommend any light to any of you, it would definitely be an Aperture 120D Mark I or Mark II, really. The Mark II just gives more power and a few more features, but the Mark I works just as good, man. Aperture is an amazing lighting company. They have tons of other lights. Check them out. Obviously, links below. Last but not least on the gear uh, shelf is the bottom shelf. So I keep a sandbag, and that's for times when I'm using my C-stand and I got something heavy on it and it could possibly tip over. I keep the sandbag to weigh it down or a sandbag to weigh down a light stand or a tripod or anything that could possibly tilt over. I keep this little sandbag on hand or in my trunk. Very important to keep you a sandbag. You don't have to have extra hands on set holding the light for you or something or holding down something to keep it sturdy. Sandbag's very important. Get you one. Last but not least, the last item in here is a DJ light. I use this because it gives a beam light out and it moves to the music. Now for music videos, sometimes I like the lights to be moving just to add more element to a shot. This was actually 500 bucks. It's actually pretty expensive. I never took it back. I planned on using it and taking it back, but I was like, hey, it works really good. I should just keep it in my gear closet just for future references. I know we all do that. Creatives tend to just keep things like, I'll use it one day. I haven't used it in a while. I will be using it on future projects, I'm pretty sure. So I keep it in here. Uh, it's amazing light though. It moves to the music. So whenever the bass is hitting or certain sounds in the song, it'll go woo, 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 and have a cool beam light. It switches colors. You can do purple, red, green, blue, whatever the case may be, white. And you can shape the light. You can put like shapes in it, make it a star or whatever the case may be. This thing is pretty cool. All right, so that is everything that I keep in my closet, man, from lights to, no, it's not. I have one more thing. Last but not least, this time is accurate, are these little clamps. I keep these clamps to hold things onto my C-stand or hold wires or just hold things together. Very sturdy, all black once again. Y'all know that I like all black stuff, <laughs> whatever. Um, they work really good. There goes one. That's about it for this closet tour. Let's get back to the regular setup and let me tell you guys a few more things that I have and own. And I wanna talk to you about cameras one last time. All right, guys, now that we're back at the actual setup, I wanna talk to you guys about the memory card that I use for my Canon 1DX Mark II. I use a SanDisk Extreme Pro 128 gigabyte card, I believe. It's not a CFast card, it's actually a compact flash. The reason that I use the compact flash is because they have them actually in Best Buy and places that I can go grab them and they have memory card readers where I can go buy them. The CFast, you can really only get those offline. You can't really get those in the actual store and that's kind of an issue for me if just in case something happens to my memory card reader or whatever, I don't wanna have to wait a few days to get it shipped. CFast cards write faster. The only downside is they're super expensive. That's why I use 128 gigabyte compact flash SanDisk Extreme Pro. I do need to pick up another one because sometimes I do run my card full, so I will be picking up a second one. Also, I talked to you guys about how I was thinking about getting a Sony a7 III. My 1DX Mark II is super heavy. When it goes onto a gimbal or a stabilizer, it's even more heavier and the 4K on it is tough running like long performance shots and then even editing sometimes it's kind of tedious. The Kodak is super big. So I was looking into getting a smaller camera for my music videos. So that would be either a Sony a7 III or back to the GH5. I've shot music videos with all types of cameras from an A6300 Sony to an A6500 to an A7 III, A7S II. I've shot on a GH5, a GH4. All of those cameras are amazing cameras. There's really no bad camera out right now. They all work really good. It's all about the features that you need and whichever one is just the easiest workflow for you. And I was thinking the Sony a7 III would be cool because it has the cropped sensor ability so you can crop in or you can keep it the full frame. I really like that aspect. I like the 4K on it. I don't really enjoy the color grading process on it because the footage kind of gets mushy and a little weird when it comes to coloring it, but that's all the cameras that don't shoot raw. If your camera's not shooting raw, you're gonna have a little bit of a tough time coloring just because the colors are already set, just like a JPEG or a raw photo. If you take a JPEG photo, it's gonna be hard to manipulate the colors and the exposure as opposed to if you were shooting raw, you can really manipulate the exposure and the color without breakage and photo damage or whatever color damage and just ah. But all in all, I was thinking about grabbing a Sony a7 III for my music videos. It's either that or bump up to a cinema camera, maybe a Canon C200. I'm up in the air right now. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I didn't want to make this video yet because I wasn't sure which camera I truly wanted. And I know you guys are probably going to be commenting down below like, get this camera, get that camera, get this camera. I definitely understand specs and all the different cameras and it's really all about personal preference when it comes to people. So I'm gonna have to figure that out on my own, but it will be sooner than later. So let's talk about a few more things that I 
do keep. Back to these, these little electronic bags. These are really handy. I listed them down below. I talked about them earlier because I kept all my electronic cords and stuff like that in a big one in the top of my bag in that little case. Like I said, it comes with a medium and a smaller one. They're really convenient. You can see in them, see what's in them. You can zip them up, throw them anywhere. That way you don't got loose cords all over your bag or all over your case or whatever you use. These are super handy, man, so check these out. So we talked about how I have a C stand and how when I shoot music videos, I like to use Quasar sometimes. So let me tell you about the Quasar lights I have. So in my gear closet or around the house sometimes, I do have these. I have two two foot Quasar tube lights and they go from tungsten to daylight on the end zone. Uh, super short cords, but all you need is extension cords. That's why I keep so many in that fish tank. So I have two of these. These are the two footers and I also have two six footers. Yep, six footer. Whoa. Whoa, these things are huge, but they're amazing for stylistic shots. And if you want to key light somebody, you can put it on the C-stand, use one of those zip ties, zip tie it to a C-stand right over top of your subject as a key light, works really good. These are amazing. I'm in love with Quasar lights. I'm a big fan of tube lights in general, just the look that they give like on a set or just on the skin tones. Lighting somebody up, they do well. My two favorite lighting companies are obviously Aperture and Quasar Science. They're my favorite. I keep two of these and two of the two footers so I have four in total quasar lights now with this setup right here that I got going on I do have a boom stand right here which it will be listed down below very simple cheap boom stand on top of that boom stand I have the Rode video mic pro plus or something like that link down below it's the one that cuts on and off when your camera's on and off it works really good it's really dope right here I do have a monitor just to see myself I use that when I'm shooting music videos as well I might put it on my Ronin s or I might put it on my shoulder rig so I can see a bigger better version this monitor is the small a HD focus. I believe that it is one of the best monitors you can get at the price point and the quality. Really nice quality. You can put LUTs in it. I keep my LUT on it just so I can see how things are going to look when it's color graded. I really love this monitor. It's one of my favorites. It's small, five inch. Perfect. Really just perfect. How I have that monitor mounted is I have it on a L arm. It's like an arm. It like you can loosen it up and move it around however you want. I forgot what they're called. It's I, it's an arm mount. I'll have it linked below. Oh, also on the boom stand um, from the mic all the way down the boom standing up into the camera is a extension cord that I actually bought as well. It links the camera all the way to the mic. You know, the mics, they come with short cords. So I had to get an extender to go all the way down and fit to the camera. And last but not least, I have a tripod right here. It's a cheap tripod, works really good. It's only like 80 bucks, works great. I'll link that down below. Everything's linked down below, man. I really, really, really hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I am enjoying getting it done. As you can see, there was a lot of things to cover, a lot of things to talk about. and. It was kind of giving me anxiety trying to figure out how to shoot it all. So I'm glad you guys stuck around and bared with this whole process. I hope that me explaining to you some of the things that I use and what I use them for can help you out in your creative process or in your camera bag or even setting up a gear space, gear closet for yourself. I like to keep things organized because I believe that organization really helps the process get easier. So my camera bag, my lights, my tools, my gear, everything is all listed below. You can check all that stuff out. You can go pick you up some if you want. Whew. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. I hope that I'm not missing anything. Um, yeah, I don't think that I'm missing anything. I think that's everything. Yo, if you're new here, please consider subscribing because we do all types of things from music videos, vlogs, tutorials, all types of helpful videos, everything. We do that here. So consider subscribing if you're new here. Slap that like button if you enjoyed this whole video. Drop me a comment, man. Let me know of some cool things that you might have in mind that could help me with what I have now. Maybe I can use something else. We all have different ways of doing things and I think it's interesting to see everybody's process and everybody's gear and what they use certain things for because some things might be helpful for me and some things might be helpful for y'all. So drop a comment. Let me know if I'm missing anything and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.